Now, I've had clients buy things that I've pitched in the room. I've never had anybody leave the room crying before. That's something to work on. Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Laughlin, Chief Operating Officer for iProv, and I bet you didn't know I'm a former creative director too. Uh, that's why today we're gonna watch some classic clips from Mad Men, arguably uh, the best show about the advertising business uh, that at least has come out in my lifetime. So anyway, let's dig right in. Uh, today we're gonna be watching a classic clip uh, called The Carousel. Uh, and this is where uh, Don and the, and the boys are pitching uh, the name for the new Kodak slide projector. Uh, and so it's pretty interesting, let's dig right in. This is Joe Harriman and Lynn Taylor. No Eastman's today, unfortunately. They're all back in the lab. It's a wonderful facility, but they don't take vacations. So you got to remember in this time period, Kodak was like Apple is now. They were just huge, ubiquitous, uh, and they were known for being incredibly innovative. Uh, and they had been for like a hundred years. So having these people in your office for a pitch, even getting this kind of opportunity is huge, especially for account people. Uh, these things don't come up very often. And so having the opportunity to go to work on even a small piece of the Kodak business means a lot, not only from the revenue you'll make from this one, but from the ability to say, we work for Kodak in other pitches. What do they show? Slides of them working? <laughs> <laughs> so have you figured out a way to work the wheel into it? So once again, we're gonna talk about features versus benefits here and the engineers being involved in the marketing. Uh, you know, the guys at Kodak, they're fascinated with the fact that this thing's circular and they wanna call it the wheel. They're also fascinated with this new technology that they've created. Uh, and Don's about to steer them out of that really wrong skid. This should get interesting. There's the rare occasion when the public can be engaged on a level beyond flash if they have a sentimental bond with the product. My first job, I was in-house at a fur company with this old pro copywriter, Greek, named Teddy. And Teddy told me the most important idea in advertising is new. Yeah, everybody's interested in novelty. I would say to our own detriment. Uh, you know, sort of our thirst for novelty is a, a lot of what drives uh, a lot of innovation, but quite honestly, a, a lot of uh, what I would call sort of the, the dumbing down or the, or the uh, speeding up of uh, consumption uh, is we always want this new, new, new thing, uh, and we want it before we even really understand how good our old thing might be. Uh, you know, coming from a guy that sells things for a living, I like the idea of new stuff. Uh, coming, as, coming from a, a, as sort of a citizen of the planet, it's, it's sort of worth looking at how good your old thing is before you get sucked into uh, what guys like me create when we're uh, playing on the idea of novelty. It creates an itch. You simply put your product in there as a kind of calamine lotion. Classic advertising and marketing. Find a problem and create a solution for it. Uh, especially if you're the only one that's got the solution, you own the market. But he also talked about a deeper bond with the product. Nostalgia. It's delicate, but potent. So I like this idea that nostalgia is delicate but potent. It's really, really easy when you're trying to pull on the heartstrings with nostalgia to sort of overshoot it. Um, and you know, we've all seen those spots where uh, it, it, they, they tried to get you nostalgic for something in your own life by showing you somebody else's life, or they, they just pressed the gas too hard on a feeling and it felt disingenuous. But then we've also seen a couple of those spots where it, it almost made you cry, it was so familiar. Uh, there's a couple for me, uh, there was a, a Super Bowl spot about moms a couple of years ago that got me. Uh, there's a, a, a couple of Nike commercials that always hit me right in the feels. It's weird. But you have to be very, very delicate with nostalgia because uh, it's based on a common experience. And uh, you, you can't push it too far because not everybody has the same experiences. Sweetheart. Teddy told me that in Greek. So before we get started and we see Don's pitch, I do want to say I love one thing about this. 
He's actually using the product in the pitch. Uh, there's a fa very famous ad guy, Leo Burnett, uh, who would go around to all the ashtrays in his agency and make sure that uh, only Philip Morris brands, and specifically Marlboro, because he's, his agency is the one that came up with the Marlboro Man, were in the uh, ashtrays. Uh, he had a really famous saying that we know where our bread is buttered. Uh, and so it's important that if you're going to sell a product that you use that product. Uh, it means that you believe in it, especially from a client perspective. So uh, for those of you that are in the ad business and you're not using your client's products, uh, those clients, feel free to call me because uh, I, uh, I only sell what I'll actually use. Nostalgia literally means the pain from an old wound. It's a twinge in your heart, far more powerful than memory alone. So I think my wife would kill me if I used uh, family photos in a pitch. Uh, honey, I, uh, I swear I've never done that to try to win any business, uh, but I'm not saying that I'm not opposed to it. This device isn't a spaceship. It's a time machine. I love that. You know, the guys back at Kodak want to focus on technology and they think it's space age and it's not. It's, it's technology and it's high tech, but it's a time machine. Just as high tech as space travel, right? But different. Um, and it's something that I think is uh, universal and relatable. Pretty powerful stuff. It goes backwards and forwards. takes us to a place where we ache to go again. So once again, if you're going to pull on heartstrings through nostalgia, you got to stay really universal. And this idea that we've all got uh, a memory or a feeling that we would want to repeat, that's pretty universal. But you just got to be careful about not being specific about what that feeling or moment is. It's not called the wheel. It's called the carousel. It let's us travel the way a child travels. Round and around, and back home again. To a place where we know we are loved. So uh, a lot of guys in my business will tell you that most of the pitches in Mad Men feel really powerful to the uninitiated, but a lot of them aren't really that great in comparison to pitches that happen every day in ad agencies all over the world. And that's fair, but I would tell you this is a, a, a world-class pitch here. Any agency would be more than happy to sort of be able to put their name on this pitch. This is one that Mad Men definitely got right. how uh, Don Draper just stopped talking. You got to, at some point you have to stop talking and let the, the power, the weight of the emotion in, that's been created in the room set in. Uh, that's really where the magic happens. Uh, it's not from the talking, it's from the stage you've set and then letting that emotion just hang. Uh, once you've built it up, don't deflate it by uh, continuing to try to oversell it. Now, I've had clients buy things that I've pitched in the room. I've never had anybody leave the room crying before. That's something to work on. Good luck at your next meeting. I mean, that's a power move right there too. Don't say anything, but good luck. I hope the other guys have something as good. That's pretty awesome. And you can just tell how dumbfounded they are. They weren't expecting that. Uh, they'd probably heard five pitches about uh, space and the wheel and uh, how the technology is going to revolutionize things. 
And instead they heard about how this is going to create a feeling that is universal to everyone that experiences it. That's hugely powerful and that's what creates legendary products. For more information about how you create legendary products or how you sell things in a way that other people won't or can't, visit iprovonline.com or give us a call. Uh, we'd love to show you how we think it should be done. Also, check out our YouTube channel for other React videos. Uh, we've got some pretty great ones.